Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're setting up the budget and the layout for the month of May. So without further ado, uh, let's go. So hi guys, uh, it's crazy. We're already in May and I'm always very melancholical in May because it's my birthday. And I feel like whenever it's your birthday, you start thinking about the past year, what you have done, like how much you have grown. And I realized that literally we've passed another year and so many things in my life have changed. Like my sister got married. Uh, I got my first job out of uh, university. It's been a year since I've graduated university. You know, all of these things have happened and I feel like uh, it's impacted me in a very big way also i realized that on the 27th of april was my one year anniversary on youtube <laughs> which was also kind of crazy to think about that i've been filming already for a year and i decided to actually maybe film a face reveal video i'm not sure yet because i realized since i will be traveling so much i'll probably film vlogs and it will be very hard to cut out my face of all of them and everything so stay tuned to uh, watch may me maybe show you my face and you can finally see what I look like but um yeah today I as I said I'm feeling kind of very sentimental I also have my hot water with lemon and I'll be sipping it through the video and I'll just decided to chat with you because May will bring a lot of changes not only to my budget but also my daily life I will um uh, actually leave my job uh the current job that i have because i'm traveling so much there is a chance that i can go back to my position in september but we don't know that for certain and also it it will be in like four months time so these four months while traveling i won't really have a stable income anymore which is why it was so important for me to actually get the money um saved up for my trip because I knew that that's going to be the money that I have you know for the duration of these four months so that's why in May also my income is quite quite like relative and actually budgeted because I have no clue how much I will get for my last paycheck because I'm only uh, working until the 9th of May and also I have some vacation days that by law are if you don't take the vacation days the workplace is obligated to pay them out but they calculated based on the last six months of salary so basically it's all up in the air and I also should get my tax refund in May as it was yet last year but also I don't know if that will happen and when that will happen so this month is kind of all over the place uh, we don't know anything about my income how stable it is how large it is going to be so I kind of approximated everything in the worst case scenario, so everything above that would kind of be positive and profit for me. And yeah, so uh, for May, let me just introduce the May's quote. Though. So May is the world's favorite season is the spring. All things seem possible in May. And that is true because this is officially the start of a new year for me. I'm turning 24 on the 14th of May. So yay me. And also in May, I will finish my current job. Uh, probably until splendor we don't know but i'm treating it as, as it is finishing and also i will start my world trip and everything does seem actually possible in may for me currently at this moment so that's why i went with this quote and the color is this deep deep red which kind of symbolizes for me passion and fire and just motivation and drive to keep going so without further ado let's just set up the month uh, layout let me quickly check if it's in frame it is so I haven't once again put in the numbers for the dates but let's do that we'll start with the 2nd of May because the 1st of May for me was uh, in the last month budget so I'll really quickly write down the numbers 11 12 13 14 15 and I'm kind of happy that my birthday this year is on a Saturday because it will allow me to fully enjoy it <laughs> without any work, without any worries. And also, I don't know if you're an Eurovision fan, but for me and my family, it's basically sacred. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, this year we're very excited that um, 
the Eurovision final is actually on my birthday. And also, a side note, my sister, we're not twins, but our birthday is on the same day. So that's kind of a really huge celebration, like the Eurovision final, our birthday. And it's just going to be a good time. But let's start uh, with the layout. So on the 2nd of... Uh, uh, May, I have an April closeout video happening, so I'm filming this after I already scheduled it, so I know it's going to happen. On the 3rd, I will have the May budget with me, that's the video that you're watching right now, and then later today I will film the first cash stuffing of May, and it will go up on the 4th of May, cash stuffing number 1. And then on, let's say on 8th, on the 8th, I will have the first week uh, closeout and week to budget with me video, which is the weekly layout. And then on the 9th, I will have my cash stuffing number two out. And also this is the day when I have my uh, last work day. So I will write that down, last work day. So we will celebrate that. And I expect my last paycheck from this work to be on the 13th. So I'll probably film like a final final paycheck from that work somewhere this weekend. I don't know, but 14th is my birthday. So I'll prob I will have friends over. We're going to have a Eurovision watch party and everything. So I don't plan to film or do any work whatsoever on this day. Um, but yeah, on the 15th, I will film the week two closeout and week three budget with me. And then I do expect uh, on the 16th there to be another cash stuffing video. So cash stuffing number three. And then I don't know whether I'll have a fourth paycheck. Probably not. So I'm not uh, kind of budgeting that in. If it would happen, it would be like a extra plus great but my budget i've set for this month for three cash stuffings on the 18th i plan to uh, do a cash condensing video cash condensing and then on the 20th i will uh but uh, let out what is it called a travel budget video setup travel budget uh because on the 21st i'm going to the usa L and I will kind of set up maybe my wallet, my spending money, like explain what I'm doing and everything on the 20th. And on the 22nd, I will film week three closeout. And I won't probably film a fourth week of um, budgeting because it's kind of unnecessary because here I will be in the US and there I will have my travel budget. So maybe I'll combine this week three closeout with the travel budget into one video, but I'm not really sure yet. So here I will be in the US. Uh, so this goes until the 5th of June, but I'm in the US until the 13th. So I have some ideas for vlogs coming up. So on the 24th, I plan to put one vlog up, maybe 24th, 25th, I'm not sure, which is going to be vlog number one about me going to the US. Uh, the Buffalo, Niagara Falls, and Chicago. And then here on the 28th or 29th of uh, vlog number two is going to be like the first part of Las Vegas, Grand Canyon, Death Valley and stuff. And then I think second or third, I will put vlog number three, which is going to be the second part of San Francisco, Las Vegas, and Los Angeles. And then uh, later when June comes, I will probably film more uh, vlogs, but I'm not really sure whether I will take my filming equipment with me, like all of my setup, like the ring light, everything, all of my binders to the US because I do have limited space in my luggage. And I think because of the uh, un, what is it, unexpected paychecks coming in and everything, so I won't have like a regular filming schedule for my budgeting videos. I might pre-film some videos like, um, let's say sinking funds counting balance for the end of the month because I know that if I leave here I won't spend my sinking funds here so I don't know really because everything after the 20th is basically up in the air because I don't really know if I'm going to take the uh, equipment and everything because like all of my binders together you know weigh like 
like a good fair bit and if you're traveling it just doesn't make sense and also we're all going to be in a car for a really long time so then the question is where can I sit down and film so I don't know but uh, whatever I do film and edit will end up on my channel so you can just you know kind of watch along and see what I decided but I'll probably also decide like last minute on what to do but I do plan to put, publish the vlogs and that's why I said in the beginning of the video about a face reveal because it just makes sense that after a year already you know I would show you myself and just kind of reveal and also I'll be traveling so much that it kind of what will me take take me double time to just edit me out of all of the videos and everything so I plan maybe to do a face reveal I'll just post a vlog and then you'll see my face I don't know like honestly I'm so all over the place and with all of the new uh, developments like me leaving my job and the on uh, certainty of my paycheck coming in has kind of thrown me off the track so that's why I'm very thankful for the April bonus check that, that came in which kind of put me well um, um, well what is it called well before my goal for my world trip because now I only have like a thousand left and if all else fails I can pull that from my emergency uh, saving fund like all of my other envelopes that I might not use while I travel so that's kind of okay because if we had a goal if we only had the amount of like seven thousand that would kind of throw everything off so I'm very very thankful and I also expect that the paid uh untaken vacation days and the tax refund will also help me kind of put uh, more money towards my goal for the world trip so that's why I'm not really like very bummed about not having a uh, kind of a job while I travel but then again I realized that it would make sense for me not to have a job because I'll be busy you know like traveling and I won't have internet all the way because European like sim cards will take a bunch of money in America for internet because it's just like cellular data will cost a lot of money and also all of these aspects about time zones and how can I do my work when it's like 2 a.m there and like 8 a.m here so yeah but I do still have my side hustle uh works where I can like translate texts and everything and I get paid for that but that's I can do that on my own time and when I want uh and when I have like Wi-Fi or whatever, because that's not really like a set time from eight to five, I can do that on my own. So yeah, so after all of that talking and just long, long explanations, this is what we're looking at for May. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Uh, do you have any suggestions maybe on how to manage or what kind of videos you would like me uh, to do? Like, I don't know, pack with me or what I plan to take with me budget wise and whatever. So yeah, I'm also always open for suggestions and comments and concerns and I decided that I won't be closing my Etsy shop while I leave because statistically it doesn't make sense because when you close it it bumps you down from the ratings you don't show up in the search bars and it would just kind of plummet my shop to zero so I will get my friends or my sister to cover my um, orders but I won't be restocking anything so anything that's up there uh, as it is in the quantities that it is it will be like that until autumn when I'm able to physically restock the items so if you haven't bought anything and purchased anything but you wanted to now is your last chance because you probably won't get uh time um not time but won't get stock up until autumn so I feel like also the placeholder bills are going really fast I have maybe like 10 of each left so yeah go grab yours if you haven't done so yet but yes and uh, let's move on next to the kind of the budgeted amounts for the income let me check once again if you're in frame you are great so as I said I don't really know the paychecks I don't I can't even imagine how much my last one will be the most certain I have is my paycheck too because it doesn't really differ so that will be 350 and the first one really depends on how much I get it but I approximate it to be 155 and paycheck three I approximate it to be 500 but that's like the worst case scenario hopefully it will be more because because I kind of hope it will be more. Uh, but yes, this is kind of the expect uh, the worst situation. So I set up all my cash envelopes here. I didn't change anything. So 45 for groceries weekly, 30 for spending weekly, and 70 for dine out. We have um, 
fully funded our Spotify until the end of the year, so I'm not stopping that anymore. And here, all of the sinking funds, I just allocated some money, like five or 10 euros to envelopes. And then the biggest chunk, of course, is going to World Trip. And everything here, I budgeted 250, but of course, that's below, uh, that would still put uh, us below the main goal. But I everything extra, like side hustle, Etsy, everything I will put uh, towards world goal, uh, world trip to kind of hit the goal we have of 11. Uh, 1,500 rollover fund. Also, I'm stuffing here in long-term sinking funds. I'm stuffing retirement technology and each other, each uh, envelope with one year just to, you know, kind of contribute something. And then lastly, uh, the savings and miscellaneous also are going to get uh, each envelope something like charity and tattoos and piercings will get one and then Etsy Christmas and uh, savings will get more. So here I calculated kind of my income to be approximately 1,005 euros uh, this month. And then I calculated how much is going to each category. And then percentage wise, the largest percentage will go to cash envelopes, which is 43%. Then short term sinking funds, 39. Long term sinking sinking fund seven and savings and miscellaneous 11. Uh, this is all budgeted. So the actual amount we will see at the end of the month. But yes, as I said, the income this month is very unexpected and probably unpredictable. So this is kind of the worst case scenario. But now, yes, let's uh, finish this uh, budgeting video for the month of May with counting the balances. And I'm going to take a little break from talking and I'll set up my binders and then I'll be back and we can start counting. Okay, so I took a little break. I drank some of my water and I set up my first binder, which is Johnny Cash, our short-term singing funds binder. So let's start. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is counting all of the sinking funds balances at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month to see the change and the progress you've made and everything. So even with the unpredictable income uh, this month and all of my traveling, I'm still doing this. I'm not straying from tradition and hopefully we do actually manage to film at the end of the month this kind of to see how it's all changed. But yes, clothing is first and it has 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 and 50. So 50 at the beginning of the month. Health is next and health has let's see 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 320. And I do have another dentist appointment, my last one, uh, before my leaving, so I know this will get depleted, but hopefully this will be enough. So beauty has let's check. So we have nine in nails, I believe. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, so nine plus 50, 100, 50, 200, 220, 30, 35, 40, 240. Plus nothing in hair. Uh, facials have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. Plus 15 in product. So in total, we have 354. And I do have another facial and laser appointment before I leave. So I'll also know that this will be depleted and this little, okay, I will close it afterwards. Nobody got time for that for now. So travel is next and it has 50, 100, 120, 140, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170. 170. And if all else fails, I will transfer this money also to my world trip envelope because this is kind of also travel money and that's also travel. So we'll see. If I need it, I will pull it from this. Gifts is next and it has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. For a second there, I forgot what goes after 38. <laughs> So 40, world trip is in a different binder. We're counting that later. Rollover, I don't count. And fun has 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. So 50. Okay, that's all for this binder. Let's move on to our long-term sinking funds binder. Okay, first is car. And car has 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 
So 35. Home has, I believe, also 35 because I evened all of these amounts out with my Monday to Friday savings challenge. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But home should also have 35. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yes, that's correct. So 35. Emergency and savings we're not doing for now. Retirement has... Let's check. 100, 120, 125. So 125. Stocks have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41. 41. That, that's an ugly four. I'll rewrite that four. Okay. So pets should also have 35. So 20, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yes, that's great. 35 technology has 500, 700, 900, 920, 940, 960, 980, 1000, 1020, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 1036. And then weddings have 20, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if I'm not mistaken, then baby should also have 35. Let's check if that's true. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yes. That's correct, so 35. Great, that's all for this binder. Let's move on to our savings and miscellaneous portion. We have our Sparkle Holographic Binder. And Christmas is next, and we have 100 in my sister's category, so 50, 100. And then in my mom's, we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. So in total, it's 137. Let's check. Okay, next is Etsy. And Etsy has 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yes, so 25. 25 in Etsy. Charity has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 and then next is tattoos and piercings and it has 10 15 and 16 okay 16 and then next is our big boy which is our a5 binder and monday to friday has nothing currently because we started a new envelope 3430 has 50, 100, 120, 130, 140, 145, 150, 151, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So 160. That's 160. And then rainy day has, let's check, 50, 100. 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 750. So 750. And then we go back to our previous sheet where we had the world trip. Should I just write that down? I will write it here, world trip. So at the end of the month, we also have it easier to count. And then I will put this away from here. Okay, let's do it like that. Oh, why can't I use a whiteout? That's crazy. Okay, I really like this whiteout. It's like a, what is it, expandable? And this is Milan correction tape, five millimeters. I really like this one. I bought it randomly in a bookstore and I really like it. Okay, so world trip. Let's count the total and we'll see. Let's grab our calculator. So, Flights has 3,300, uh, hotels has 3,000, 
uh, fees has 400 okay food has 500 1000 1500 700 800 so that's 1800 plus 20 40 60 80 100 plus spending has 50 100 120 140 160 180 190 200 to 10 to 20 to 25 to 30 to 35 to 40 to 41 to 3 4 and 5 so 245 plus miscellaneous 500 700 900 1000 plus 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, to 20, to 30, to 35, to 40. Okay, so the total should be 10,085, and that is correct, yay. So let me put this back so we don't get it lost. And I usually can't put it all back at first try, but yes, okay. We managed this time. Oh, jeez. Because it's very slippery. So 10,085 euros. So let me put this away and let's count the total across all our sinking funds at the beginning of the month. So 53, 23, 130, 40, 50, 35, 35, plus 125, plus 31. 17 plus 16, 160, 750 plus 10, 85 equals to 13,551 euros. Great. So that's the total, and which means we managed to hit our goal of having at least 10,000 uh, in our sinking funds as a grand total for the year which was one of our financial goals this year but yes that was it for today's video it was very long very chatty but i do hope you enjoyed it nonetheless if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel we have fun over here and i also have a lot of travel content coming up so if you're interested in that be sure to subscribe but as i said in the beginning make sure to leave comments down below if you want to see certain content while i'm in the us or asia about like tasting candy or like snacks or whatever and yeah just let me know what you thought about my plan you maybe you have some suggestions how to manage everything so i'll be open to all suggestions and comments but yes i will be back soon with another video but in the meanwhile i wish you a very wonderful day and i hope to see you next time bye